Hey everyone, in this lesson, we would like to discuss the overcurrent protection. So what does an overcurrent protection means? From the name, it appears that we are protecting our circuit against the overcurrent. Or what does this mean? It means that when the current exceeds a certain value. Okay, over current means that the current exceeds a limit or our limits or exceeds a threshold we uh, uh, put inside our protection system. Whatever it is, it means that our current is excess, excess, excess amount of current. Okay, so over current protection is that protection in which the relay picks up, okay, or the relay operates when the magnitude of the current or the value of the current exceeds the big up value okay similar to as we discussed before in the trip circuit okay so here we are protecting our circuit against the overcurrent okay so overcurrent protection includes the protection from overloads so when we are talking about overcurrent protection you have to understand there are two types one which is called the overloads which means that we are overloading our machines or we are um, loading our machines greater than its uh, value for example let's understand this for example if you have a oil transformer okay as you know in oil transformer you are loading the oil transformer by 80% okay for example and the uh, dry transformer by 90 percent okay this is our loading so this is the maximum loading here and here okay now this of course this value can differ according to the uh, working temperature and the height different factors affecting the loading of transformer but for example in my own country uh, for the oil transformer, we operate at 80% and dry transformer at 90% due to the reasons of high temperature. Okay. So when, for example, uh, I uh, loading our uh, oil transformer by, for example, 100%, it means that I am overloading the transformer. Okay. I am uh, overloading it by 20%. You can see that the maximum value 80%, but I am loading it by additional 20% up to 100%. Okay, so it means that we are loading or overloading it by 20%. So this called overloading. Okay, and we'll understand why overloading is bad for our uh, equipment, electrical equipment, such as motors, generators, uh, transformers, whatever. Uh, for the drive, for example, 90%, I loaded it by 110 percent okay so this means that the difference is 20 percent which is the overload value okay this of course called overloading so for example if i would like to protect my own transformers against overloading so when the loading exceeds 80 percent or when the current exceeds a certain value we will operate our relay in order to uh, trip the circuit okay similar to the dry transformer so overcurrent includes the protection against overloading this is what's called overloading okay uh, in real life when we are talking about um, overloading electrical machines or electrical motors such as induction motors when i'm talking about overloading it means that i'm exceeding it by up to 110 percent okay so for example when it reaches 110 percent uh, operate in order to cut the circuit or turn of the circuit okay now the overloading of a machine or equipment generally means that the machine is taking more current than its rated current more overloading means that it will need more power which means it will take more current from our uh, system so more current means it is taking more than what is rated current or its own rated current so what will happen in this case hence with overloading when you are taking excess amount of current or more current what will happen is that the i square r or the power losses i 
square multiplied by r inside the um, wires okay this one is called the power losses okay power losses due to the flow of current inside the circuit so this power loss is one of the type power losses which is called the couple losses this losses what will happen it will lead to uh, more temperature rise okay because it produces heat okay when uh, there is power loss inside the copper uh, this will lead to more uh, dissipation of heat okay so more heat means more temperature rise okay temperature rise inside our uh, electrical machine okay so this is one of the reasons or one of the problems when we have overloading okay when overloaded the machine the uh, machine will take more current which means it will produce more heat with uh, more than what the machine can withstand okay so remember that this this overloading depends on the country and the location why because according to each country it has its own ambient temperature or the surrounding temperature of the machine so if we are operating at a low temperature low temperature for example what will happen is that we can overload our machine for example here in egypt the ambient temperature for example can be 40 or 50 degree okay 40 degree for example 30 degree whatever so uh, this is the Celsius degree this is the temperature in or the ambient temperature in my own country okay as an example so maximum loading is 80 percent now let's talk about a country like russia russia having a low temperature okay or in europe europe have also as a continent have a low temperature so for example the temperature five five degree okay as an example so in this case having a five degree means that we can operate our machine not at 80 percent but for example at 100 percent or 110 percent okay so we can overload it normally because we have a low temperature which uh, acts as a cooling system for our machine okay so anyway if we have overloading which means that the current exceeds a certain value which means higher tem uh, uh, temperature rise or uh, having a temperature rise which will affect our uh, uh, machine the aging of the machine so in this case we need a protection relay called the thermal relays so overcurrent protection of overloads okay overloads means we are exceeding the loading of the machine by 10 percent 20 percent whatever or between them okay so this will called the overloading okay remember 10 percent 20 percent as a maximum okay so in this case we protect it by using thermal relays thermal relays will uh, uh, know the temperature or feels the temperature having a cause which will be affected by temperature and leading to cutting of the circuit okay so the motors for example induction motors for overloading they are protected by uh, overloading coils or uh, thermal relays okay now another one this is the first part of our current means uh, overloading another part or another portion of the overcurrent section is called the short circuit protection so overcurrent having is a family having two sons under it or two children uh, one of them is the overloading the other one is the short circuit so for the short circuit can be a phase fault earth fault winding faults and so on so as you remember that the short circuit currents are generally several times a full load current can be 5 to 20 times full load current okay so as you remember 5 to 20 times full load current but in the overloading we said that we had 80 percent okay or 0 0.8 80 percent 80 percent or 0 0.8 value of the current it changed for example to full current okay or 1.1 of the current okay so all of this is called overloading a small increase in current okay it is increased okay or overloading however it is a 
not a large value of current compared to the short circuit. In the short circuit, you see that 5 to 20 times full, full load current. So 5 to 20 times the I. So we'll see very large value compared to the overloading. So in this case, of course, due to the presence of high amounts of current in case of short circuit, we need to cut or uh, fast fault clearance in order to uh, protect our circuit. Because if we allow the flow of this current for just few seconds, it will destroy our machine. Okay. So when a machine is protected by differential protection, one of the protection types in electrical machines used to protect the transformers, um, the uh, electrical generators, uh, and motors and large induction motors. This type is one of the protection devices which we will discuss in the, uh, protection schemes, which we are going to discuss in the course. Okay. Uh, the differential protection so sometimes it, the machine is protected by differential protection and as an additional protection we have an overcurrent protection as a backup so the primary is differential protection and the backup protection is the overcurrent in order to protect the machine from sustained through fault okay so we have to, if we have a device or equipment, which is really, really important, then we add uh, more than one protection uh, device. Okay. For example, differential protection and in addition to it, the overcurrent protection and other types of protection. When we discuss the, for example, when we discuss the generator uh, protection or the scheme of the generator uh, protection, we will have several types of protection system used in this one okay or in protection of generators several protection devices are used for over current protection okay like fuses fuses are one of the most important uh, equipment or devices used for protection of our uh, electrical equipment against over current Okay, so when the current exceeds a certain value or during a short circuit, the, uh, especially during the short circuit, the fuses will operate and cut off the circuit. However, the problem of the fuses, it can be used only one time, but it is cheap compared to circuit breakers. Uh, other thing we can use circuit breakers, which will have overloaded coils using thermal relays, for example. The overloaded coils operates by the effect of temperature. Okay, when the temperature exceeds a certain value inside the coils, the uh, circuit breaker it will the circuit breaker will be trapped. Okay, or it can be trapped by overcurrent relays, which will protect against short circuit. So, what are the primary requirements of overcurrent protection? What do we need from over current protection? Number one, the protection should not operate for starting currents or permissible over currents and current surges. Okay, so what does this mean? During starting current, for example, in induction machines, as you know that during starting, the machine will take large amounts of currents. So we have to make sure that our protection system does not operate during this case okay so it should not operate during starting current or permissible over current when we allow a small increase in current or overloading in the machine so our over current protection should not operate during this or current surges in power system okay it changes in or fluctuations in current we should not protect our uh, or the overcurrent protection should not operate during this. So how can we prevent our overcurrent protection from operating during starting current, permissible overcurrents or current surges? How can we do this? Simply by using time delay. Okay, a small time delay. It is provided in case of inverse relays. Okay, or relays with a constant time, for example. Uh, not only inverse but inverse and constant uh, time relays okay any of them we provide a time delay 
the time delay will be a very small time as we will discuss in the uh, next lecture when in the next lecture we will discuss the uh, set, uh, settings of the uh, overcurrent protection and also an example on overcurrent protection in order to understand how can we select the overcurrent protection okay so in order to achieve this time delay is provided in order to prevent the overcurrent protection from operating during starting however if we don't allow any time delay if uh, for example in uh, one of the applications when we don't allow any time delay or the time delay cannot be permitted instantaneous uh, time relay is using okay so it will operate as fast as possible when the fault occurs the protection should be coordinated with neighboring over current protection so as to discriminate what does this mean it means that the protection which is protecting the motor for example uh, have a certain uh, time delay then the next delay uh, the next uh, relay or the uh, following relay should have a uh, time delay from the first one okay so the two relays or the two circuit breakers between them a time a time delay in order to uh, discriminate or know where exactly the fault happened okay so uh, this will be also understood in the next lecture when we have example on the over current protection you will see several circuit breakers or many circuit breakers and we will discriminate between them by providing a time delay between them and how can we select the settings for the overcurrent protection